So uh, thank you. I'm, I'm uh, a little nervous. The woman who shushed everyone is my wife. And I'm also, this is the first time I'm presenting in front of my 11-year-old daughter, too. So bear with me. I'm a little nervous. Uh, so what I wanted to talk about today is Mighty Cast's first product, which is called the Next Band. And the Next Band is the world's first smart charm bracelet for the tween to young adult demographic. And the goal of the next band is to disrupt the wearable space, to give power to the consumer to customize their smart bands, both on the inside and out, at a fraction of the cost through our next collectible mods. So what are some of the things you can do with these collectible mods? You can customize all of your notifications. So we work with all social networks, you can customize telephone calls, calendar events, reminders, anything in any color. You can move mods around in any combination you like. But you can also wear like a gaming console on your wrist where each individual mod can act as a different weapon or character or a different power up. What we're trying to do too is go back to the days of collecting hockey cards and getting kids and young adults to interact with each other in the real world too. So we can swap and exchange mods and every single mod that we, that, we, that we have on our platform can be tracked. So we can know, for example, if I give you a mod, you know that it's been to five different countries, traveled 6,000 miles, or been on 15 different wrists. We can also detect proximity. So if you have a white list of your own friends, and in this room, for example, if you wanted to match make with someone that you were looking for, as you get closer to that person, your mods can start to flicker faster the closer you get to them. We can also work with fixed infrastructure as well. And always protecting against obsolescence because one of the key differentiators of what we're able to do is we can put hardware inside the mod. So for example, instead of spending $150 or $180 on a Nike fuel band, you can simply buy a next band accelerator mod and add motion to your experience and have fitness applications or motion kind of gaming applications as well. All, we, we can do all of this all at the same time, all on one wrist, and in multiple different styles for people to choose from on the outside. Our business model is a typical razor, razor blade business model with mods that have natural virality built in them, and they're inherently collectible. We don't need to make any money on the bands themselves, so that's how we're able to try and disrupt the wearable space because all of the margins are in the mods themselves, and we approach near virtual good like margins on the mods. Uh, our go-to-market strategy, now we have all of our prototyping complete. We have an open API and SDK that we're sharing with third-party developers now. We're going to go into our beta in June and we'll be live in the market in the fourth quarter. And we're going to the market on our own, but we're also going with, uh, with three different uh, strategies as well, through partnerships, uh, AAA licenses, and our own proprietary IP. So on the partnership sides, we're partnering with one of the largest brands in, in the UK. Uh, on the licensing side, uh, we already have uh, signed term sheets with uh, a platinum recording artist and a major motion picture that's uh, going to be coming out at, toward the end of the year that we're looking forward to announcing pretty soon too. And then we also have our own proprietary IP, which is actually how the story and how the company started. So going all the way back, probably about two and a half, three years, when we started this company, we were a content company. And the content that we created featured a magical charm bracelet. And it was this magical charm bracelet that let people in the story world communicate with each other, find each other, unlock secret magical powers, and we did a lot of focus testing and kept doing group after group after group, and everyone in that group kept saying, we want that real charm bracelet. So I'd love to take credit for the idea, but it was really the focus group that gave it to us. Um, we're a team of techies and creatives, so um, together, uh, the founders, uh, we've uh, We've created and exited a uh, business together in the past. We've uh, combined won three Emmy Awards together and have had three apps in Apple's top 10. Um, but we're looking to build. So we're a small team right now and we're looking to, uh, to double in size. So if anyone's interested, please come talk to me after, after the presentation. Um, as I mentioned, we're signing multiple licensing deals. We're feeling very good about uh, our go-to-market strategy, but our patents also protect us 
in the larger Internet of Things space as well, so something that we call base and token technology. And that's it. That's all.